morning and welcome to the Reptile Barn. Um, we've had several people on here request more information and a little bit more screen time for our tree monitors. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on how Little Blue is doing with his handling um, and show off some of the others as well. Alright, so here's Little Blue. He's just hanging out on his lovely greens here. Um, yesterday he did fantastic. Colin was feeding him while his sister was here and normally Little Blue will only ever let Colin touch him but he actually took food and then let Katie, Colin's sister, pet him. So he just got a lovely little chin scratch from Aunt Katie and it went great and isn't he just spectacular? Guys, I really hope the camera is picking up the color because man is this guy gorgeous and he's getting big. He is Due for an upgrade to a bigger cage. We tried to put him in a bigger cage and he like mega stressed out. He was so not happy with having that much space to himself. So we're going to have to try a medium cage and see how he does. But oh my goodness, he's so gorgeous. Hi buddy, you're doing so good. Guys, this is progress. Normally when I just walk in the room, he starts puffing out his throat. But he's just kind of chilling. Yeah, hi buddy. That. Isn't he gorgeous? Love these guys. Alright, and here is our other pair of blue trees. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm still not super great at telling which is the male and which is the female. I'm working on it, but Colin's way better than I am, so I'm not even gonna pretend to guess. Although, based on where they darted for, this is probably, uh, this is probably Evelette, the female. She is in love with that water bowl, so the fact that she darted straight to it is a good indicator that that's her. Yeah, there she goes. Anyway, as you can see, they're still extremely skittish. Oh, where did the male go? He must have darted back behind the lovely little nest back here. They like hiding back there. Anyway, yeah, they still scurry a lot. They're still pretty scared of us, but they've been getting much, much better. They used to just, the second anyone opened the door, they'd run for cover, but now they at least wait until we come around the corner. So, progress. Alright guys, and here's one of the black tree monitors. Um, just caught her basking up on her hot spot. Loving it. They have been eating like crows and growing like weeds and I know that Colin updated you guys on Ash a couple weeks ago saying that she was pretty skinny and we were a little concerned that she wasn't eating enough and we were thinking about pulling her out into her own cage until she got, got in better shape but I just wanted to give you guys an update. She has been eating like a pro. She's looking so much better and we are so relieved to see that she's coming around. I'm actually pretty shocked that she's just hanging out right there where I can see her and not darting for her hide. Anyway. Alright, and just one last update. I know it's been a while since we've kind of caught you guys up on this, so the lovely that are going to be in this enclosure actually haven't gotten here yet. There's been a couple different times that we've, you know, scheduled the time for them to ship and then all of a sudden weather changes and the temperature on either the breeder's end or on our end is just a little too low for comfort. Right? Like with ball pythons, you stick a heat pet in the box, you make sure it's insulated right, you know, there's steps you can take and like they're totally fine. They're pretty, they're pretty tough as far as animals go. Um, but are just, they're just a little more temperamental and they need more specific temperature conditions. So we really don't want to be pushing it one way or another with them. So we want to make sure they're healthy and they're safe. So we've postponed shipping a couple times now just to make sure that our animals are as safe as they possibly can be. Um, so we'll let you guys know when they get here. Anyway, that's about all I've got for right now. Um, all of our monitors are doing fantastic. They're calming down and they're interacting with us really well. They're eating well and they're looking healthy and we're just super excited about it. Um, anyway, so for all of you guys out there that have been watching this and been requesting more monitor footage, I hope that this made your day. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good one and thanks for watching. This is the Reptile Barn.